This is Sound Off, Louisiana's premier television sports show. Coming to you from Sportsbook at Loberge Lake Charles. Here are the guys, Rick, Scooter, and Kevin. All right, good evening. Thanks for stopping by the Sportsbook at Loberge and checking yes. out Sound Off. We're glad to have you with us here. Great interaction on tap for your television viewing pleasure. Gidry, Hobbs, and Sarah Always. for the next 30 minutes right here on CBS Lake Charles. All right, this is what we like to do. Sometimes we like to look back, and we're going to look back, and we're going to see how it, can, uh, how, it, how it affects the present. Okay. And then what we really like to do is kind of be kind of smart asses and get our crystal ball out and see how, what's going to happen in the future, right? Sometimes we get it right. Sometimes. I'm always right. Uh, whatever. I'm always whatever. Right. You hear information from me. Okay, okay. whatever. Uh, big events, of course. Uh, you know, we'll see how it affects all this coaching changes, how it yep. affects the New Orleans Saints, the Dallas Cowboys, yeah. uh, other NFL teams uh, seeking coaches and, and the like. Uh, the NFL GOAT, of course, is Bill Belichick, where he's gonna where yeah. he's gonna land in the next week or so. We'll see. Uh, LSU Tigers. We're gonna get into their coaching staff situation. Yeah. Uh, we got some holes to fill. I'm gonna throw out an interesting there name are. with you guys, and of course, McNeese basketball. All right, so we got a lot to talk about. All right. Um, let's start with this, guys. It's probably one of the more impressive list of available professional coaching candidates that I've seen. I'm gonna say 10, 15 years. Obviously, start with available. the goat. Well, Bill Belichick out there. That's available. Sure. Pete Carroll. Yeah. All right. Remember, fired by Seattle. He's got a Super Bowl. Should have two, right? Yeah. Mike Vrabel, very well respected. Tennessee Titans. He got yeah. canned. Yeah. He's out there. National champion in college football. Yeah. Jim Harbaugh. Yeah. He went to a Super Bowl. He's available. Yeah. Throw out this hot shot with the Detroit Lions. Everybody's waiting for the Lions. Man, to he's my ben new Johnson. guy. He's my new guy. Ben Is Johnson, he cool or what? I could listen to yeah. that guy talk I'm with forever. you, Scooter. I'm with you on he, that. He's yeah. dialed up but some interest. He's dialed up some schemes. I'm talking. He's a yeah. young fella. Ben how Johnson. How serious? How serious do you think the situation with Harbaugh? How serious do you think that is? Of him leaving? Yeah. I think he's gone. Well, he was. Well, yeah, I I'm, I'm the, the, the fact but, that he's interviewing. But let me, I'll just throw this out there. Nothing. Why would anybody want the Chargers job? Ooh. You don't really have a city. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, re repeat that? The Why Chargers would anybody job. want the Chargers job? Uh, that, primarily because of know, Justin Herbert, and they got some talent on defense. <laughs> but they don't, what, what do you mean they mean, don't have a city? I mean, they, they don't have any fans. Uh, yeah, they start I, see winning, they I see what Scoot is no, saying. Rams, no, no, the Rams no. are one up on them. I got you. Maybe they move back to San Diego. You and I are no, all school. Be, Go back no, to San Diego. They're going to be the Clippers. <laughs> In, well, in the NBA, you know, um, yeah, yeah, the I don't Clippers. know. I, I, I think yeah. Harbaugh will look at it clearly. Uh, I think Pete Carroll may get, you know, Pete Carroll back in Los Angeles where he was a U.S. But didn't, they, didn't Michigan just give him a new contract? They put that they out him there. An extension. But, you know, he had to take a pay cut. I, I think he's gone. He did what he was too. supposed to do. Too, in Michigan. Fact, so he returned him to I glory. He brought him a national championship. When, when, they won it, when they won it last week. I thought he would probably stay, but just the fact that he is, it's confirmed he is interviewing, yeah. Yeah. he's yeah. gone. Right. Yeah. With all those names out there, any possibility, any I know possibility where you're going. I know where you're going. that Mickey Loomis will get tempted to replace Dennis Allen? Anybody. Even, those, if, even if it's Mike Rick, Vrabel. Rick, who's I, a defensive I, I guess guy. I'm not, a, you know, other than the obvious. I'm, I'm not that blown away by the availables out there. You know what? But, I mean, uh, are you getting the sink and feeling? Belichick, Pete Carroll, Mike well, Rabel. You know, well, let me say this. But if you a coach, don't you look at what's there before you make that decision? When I say their players, don't you look at if you want to make a decision to where you're going to go, don't yeah, you look at what's and, there and, when and you and say the players? Saints, the Saints what's are. Gonna, what's going to draw me to the Saints? They have no What's going to make wrong. me say that's where I want to be? It, there it, is none. If, if the Saints, number one, if the Saints were going to fire Dennis Allen, I think, I think it would have been done. It would have been done. It should have been done. It should have been done. Taking that right into consideration, they don't get in a hurry in the NFL. Like, as soon as a college coach is gone, oh shit, recruiting, recruiting. Yeah. We've got to hire somebody by tomorrow. Yeah, you're, you're, it's not that way in the NFL. No. But I. I do think something would have happened. I think so too. I'm with you on Plus that. Plus the fact the Saints are just not real attractive because they have no draft capital, and they're always 80 to 90 million over the cap. So they, yeah, but got they issues. always get around. They that, do that, so but yeah. it does cost them in the end. So now the attention turns to 
Jerry Jones later in the week and the Dallas Cowboys still reeling, reeling over this, this annihilation by the Green Bay Packers. Ow. I mean, Jerry Jones and Mike McCarthy had to have sit, sat down. You saw him after the game. Look, he said he was floored. Look. I know, oh, Jerry? Yeah. He I'm never that incomprehensible. That, this I'm going to tell you this, Rick. He's got to be thinking about that, a move. Hold on. You remember we used to have that little ringer bell? Yes, the bell. <laughs> we need it back. Ding, ding, ding. Look. When you ask something, it'd be like Jeopardy. Whoever <laughs> hits first <laughs> gets to answer. That's a, that's, that's the, the only moment. way I can that's get a, a great word idea. In. Oh, Scoot, I'll let that's you go. That's the only idea. way I can get a wise word. He's wasted all of his time yeah. complaining about it. <laughs> Are you going to make a point? Go, yeah. go ahead, Scoot. Go ahead. I mean, I'm going to let you have it. Will go Jerry ahead. have a cooler head and say, does that one game take away from it's just the not regular one, season. It's just not have? one game. Look, look, look. Three out of four years, McCarthy has exited the playoffs in I the first round. I get what Scooter is saying. Scooter makes a good point. Do you really do that based on that? This is what tells me that McCarthy cannot survive this. Did you guys see Jerry Jones in his suite? Yeah. He I have a never seen, seen him. him after the game. I have never seen him as miserable as I've seen him in that suite, Rick. Because Never. they had no fire, Nothing. they were ill prepared, they had they, they weren't playing physical. Uh, even I mean, even C D Lamb, who's from Louisiana. And something's going on getting, with him. They were getting, and they were getting something. Pumped. Yeah. Some D B He pushed him and, and he didn't do anything. C D Lamb didn't, didn't do nothing, man. And that's the one guy you know gonna talk trash is C D Lamb. Come on. They, now. they were beaten. Look, when they got down two scores, and obviously by three, I, they were they were beaten. They I were can't beaten. see how McCarthy I could be dead wrong. I cannot see how McCarthy survives this. Jerry Jones' ego I, is too big. His ego is too big. And he's, he's not shy. He's not out of time. Yeah. He's 87 his, years his old. His ego is too big, Rick. And McCarthy has had three, four chances to, he's to make this ship right. To right Speaking this ship. of being gone, you need to get over to the Max Bar <laughs> Grill at the National. How about that for a segue? Uh, home to many things like starting yes. with prime steaks and burgers, fresh seafood, fired. hot gumbo, perfect <laughs> right about now. Full boy sandwiches, salads, and those uh, husky red fries. Bar is perfect for winding down with a cold beer. Enjoy yourself at the Max in Westlake. If it's a story worth telling, it starts with getaways specializing in me time. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Escapes to soak the day away. And rounds on a course designed by Tom Fazio. Start a story all your own. At La Berge Lake Charles. We're the attorneys Southwest Louisiana has known and trusted for decades. We fought relentlessly for our clients and won. We are proud to announce a new name based on our legacy of success. We are Lundy Law. The name may be new, but our team's commitment to pursuing justice for our clients has never been stronger. From personal injury and maritime cases to insurance claims, mass tort, and civil litigation, you can count on the experienced attorneys at Lundy Law. Sportsbook at yes. La It's later in the week, gentlemen. It has been freezing cold. It's going to get worse. Bundle Rick. up. Be safe out there. If the roads yeah. start getting icier, have been icy. How do people live in this all the time? Hey, check out Kansas City. Minus yeah. 27 windshield. That's crazy. Did you see the chip of of of, of Pat Mahomes? <clears throat> when he helmet. got hit, he got hit. It came. The a helmet it, cracked. A piece of it came off. I've never that seen cold. that. Wow. And he was he was hit helmet to helmet in that yeah. playoff game. I guess if I get wow. it, I have to go back to leather helmets. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Another good suggestion. You need a bell for that I don't one. Know, so, all right. I don't know. Sound off brought to you by the A team of attorneys. That would be Lundy yes. Law and Lake Charles. Also brought to you by J and J Exterminating and Sound Off presented by LaBerge Casino Resort, of course. Yes. Okay, gentlemen. In the next segment, I want to try to get deep into the NFL's not having a love affair, devaluing 
the NFL running back. We talked about it a okay. couple of weeks ago. Okay. I want to get into that. Okay, we can. And it's in relation to this past weekend's playoff we game. We can. Where the running backs showed up. They did they show do. up. They All did. right. Let's get on the LSU no Tigers coaching staff. Yeah. I'm going to lean on you two guys. Okay. What the heck is taking so long? I don't know. With this offensive coordinator position. I don't position? know. I don't know. The secondary as well. Well, still supposedly, out there. What's going on? and this might explain it. Uh, uh, Brian Kelly was in Tuscaloosa over the weekend. Was he talking possibly to a Tommy Reese? No, he was talking to Saban. Get Saban to come be his. Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah. No. yeah. Dingy, yeah, yeah, school, dingy, yeah. Yeah. dingy. Tommy still, Reese, still in my thunder school. who, of course, Kelly wanted to bring with him from Notre Dame. Right. Reese stayed at Notre Dame. He went to Alabama for yeah. last year. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and he left one year later. Yeah. Uh, to join Saban's yeah, staff. Save and apparently, uh, if, if that doesn't happen, I'm thinking they hire from within for the yeah. offensive coordinator job. So well, what you're your saying point. is your point, you, have, you have information and or a gut feeling that Tommy Reese is at least being talked to by Brian Kelly. Yeah. It, yeah. From, Why not? From, yeah. from the mean, word, no. none of the Alabama staff is going to be retained. Okay. Really? By uh, yeah. DeBose. Wow. Yeah. He's wow. got a good OC up there in Washington. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jason Grubb, I think is yeah. that. Wow. Good OC up wow. there. Wow. Yeah, throws them all over the all yeah. over the yard. All right, but so that's I, some names. But I would be encouraged by what they've done so far mm -hmm. defensively. I don't know if they're hiring your guy for D B coach had, or had, not. Hadn't had an interview school. But but the, what Corey you're Raymond seeing what you're seeing with uh, uh I'm, I wanna say Bo Davis? Bo Davis. Bo Davis. Bo Davis. I'm about to say Bo Nix. From Bo Texas. Davis and uh, uh, defensive end coach from Missouri, both of those specialize in getting pressure on quarterbacks. And yeah. that was a big failing yeah. for LSU's defense. Huge. And one thing you could tell kind of frustrated Kelly last year. Of course. No, Look, that did, Scooter. I agree I with mean, that. I mean, that did. Um, Makai Wingo, NFL draft now. Yeah. I don't know. Mason Smith, he didn't. He hadn't shown me anything. He no. came the, on strong. He, he was right. hurt for a while. He, was for a while. he improved great. late in the year, but I, it, but I agree with you. Uh, yeah. I think he should have he stayed. Needs but he's going to another the year, particularly but see, particularly with a good coach. I agree. A proven coach, but you know what? The guy has obvious potential. He's a big and you man. Know what no, the he NFL, does. And he can move. What the NFL has shown over the years. We can coach you. They will draft yeah. on potential. And look, they right. will. Especially this, at that position. And yeah. this is what I think when you find a coach that, and I know Kelly hadn't been there that long, but, you know, you've got to retain some of those players to tell them that, you know what, it's not a good year. Why don't you come back and let's do a something big? More, well, you've got to do that. I'm sure he do was that. told that. And, and Kevin. You know, yeah, but Scooter. Look at the guys. You that can't Nick arrest him and make him stay. <laughs> Look at the guys Kid Nick Saban has retained when we thought they were they was going through. Right or wrong? Huh? Look at some of the guys that Nick Saban bought back when we thought they were going through. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. It was yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, a lot. Uh, of so, so look. A lot of them. Now, the, the latest hire on the staff is Bo Davis. Bo Davis. Respected defensive line coach from Texas. Very respected. And, and you know, LSU a, ties. It, yeah, yeah. And it is a critical hire. Yeah. I mean, th this no, might be. Am I, am I completely off I'm base? With you on that. Because I looked at that defensive line. You said it earlier, but no yeah. pressure. Well, I mean, you know, no pressure, and no they, they had some stuff out of their control last year when they had to have an interim defensive line and they coach lost Wingo who for, had really never played. Got, and coach they lost coach. Wingo for what, five or six yeah. games? Yeah. Could the defensive line, Kevin, be depleted of more talent than even the secondary? Don't say that. Please. I mean, think about because it. Because if we don't have a defensive line, we don't have a secondary. Uh, I'm going to tell you like that. Well, I got it. But, but what is there, okay. one starter coming because back? Maybe that, one that, and a half? That, 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 that's got to get it's, fixed. It's dire straight. That's got to get fixed because I'm telling you, if you don't have pressure, that secondary is toast. I it's did toast. not expect Mason Smith to declare. I'm so, I was going, I was I going Scooter's either. route. I did he either. should come back for another year and reestablish himself. Either. Well, it, it, you know, like I said. But he's a big body. Yeah. It, it, I, I'm Some just of the saying. things we look at and we say we wonder how, why is Bo that Bo Davis, <laughs> great hire. No, boy, he's got some work to do, he man. He does. He does. And they're going to have to hit that portal again. He does. They're going to have to hit that portal again. He does. All right, think about this, guys. If Jim Harbaugh 
now that Kalen DeBoer is, is in Tuscaloosa at Alabama succeeding the great one, Nick Saban, yeah. if Jim Harbaugh goes to the NFL to whoever, both national championship teams don't have a coach. Will be out of head coach? Has that ever happened? Yeah, both Rick. of them. I think, think it's it. gonna happen. Rick. Yet, well, I think it will. I think it's gonna happen. Rick. complain about the players' portal. Yeah, there's a coaching portal too. <laughs> now you know the thing is, this is my deal. How many players is he gonna take from Washington? You thought well, about that? Have you thought I'm about correct. that? As they we're sitting here later in the because week, because the portal opens up when that coach leaves. Am I right? Yes, they have an opportunity to go. Yeah. You're right. And, and same thing for Saban. And several Alabama Dude. players have already well, I, the, the, I think they the, know why, the, too. The biggest one is that Bond, that Isaiah Bond, the yeah. receiver. Yes. yes. He yeah. went to Texas. Texas. Yeah. Because yeah. he likes Steve Sarkeesian yeah. and he likes the yeah. Quinn Ewers and yeah. all that stuff. So, again, there might be some Alabama exodus and Washington exodus. I'm, think about that, Rick. That, you know, I want to go with a guy that knows me. Okay, interesting. And that's, that's why Saban left. The, the just this free agency mean, movement of players. How do you get around football. it? But how do you get around it? Pandora's box is open. Speaking of how Alabama, how do you get around that? I, I'm not comparing these guys. I'm not comparing them at all. But Auburn brought in this Brian Harson a couple of years ago, like yeah. three years ago. Remember that? Yeah. He was kind of a West Coast kind of guy. He was coaching in Boise yeah. State. I'd forgotten Didn't all about fit him. In. Remember they chased him out of out of Auburn pretty much. <laughs> Al- they did. <laughs> they did. <laughs> Alabama <laughs> brings in a guy that is really kind of West Coast. You know, California, Washington. Yeah. Yeah, but he, co- he coached in uh, South Dakota, too. And I'm just saying the western side of the country. South of the, the, the western Sioux side. City is on the Missouri <laughs> River. I'm just Look. saying. It's the west. Look. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing that out there. I think DeBoer, he, he's just a different cat, I think. He just is. Look at he him. is, Rick. He I is different. I just think he has a different he, persona. No, no, I'm with you on that, Rick. He didn't You know, and I think he's going to love having Nick Saban right around the corner. I do. See, I, 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 I do. I do. I can't see how Nick would leave. We got to run. We got to go to break. We do. More sound off when we come back. Stay right here. We're the attorneys Southwest Louisiana has known and trusted for decades. We fought relentlessly for our clients and won. We are proud to announce a new name based on our legacy of success. We are Lundy Law. The name may be new, but our team's commitment to pursuing justice for our clients has never been stronger. From personal injury and maritime cases to insurance claims, mass tort, and civil litigation, you can count on the experienced attorneys at Lundy Law. Miller Lite has more taste and only one more calorie than Michelob Ultra. show so far it's been spunky yes, the man wants the bell back by the way hey, he bought the, the bell back. That, that's the who gets the answer whoever can ding it first he wants to, he wants to interrupt I'm pretty he quick shut you up that's I'm pretty quick though Scoot. I'm, I'm pretty quick man I don't know all right bringing hey guys a <laughs> uh, we've covered a lot of ground uh, yes all right the legacy center our production schedule came uh, before the Monday night game against Lamar yeah. bad weather so, I see roads may I think they sold enough tickets you think so? to be yet another like, third or sell fourth out. sellout I'm at sure the Legacy Center. Now, and you know what I don't what, know if they're going to put them in, but with the bad weather earlier in the week. I mean, but you yeah, got both teams not. undefeated. Coach, you know, That's I'm a sure reason there were uh, some tickets sold in Lamar, too. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. Yeah. they, sure travel, they yeah. don't want to make the drive. They travel yeah. well. Uh, yeah. But anyway, so the Cowboy basketball team, we mentioned it earlier in the week. I think it's, I think it's a very cool deal. They got one vote. I know it's only one. It is. But they got a it vote. Is. For the AP National, not somebody major, it, but not somebody major you, though, now. This is the national AP top 25 rankings somebody in the country. You, though, they picked up a vote. You. Tell you what helps them beast. too. Uh, Michigan got a got a big win. It's because this isn't a very good Michigan. Right, it is right. not. Right. It is not. But they got a big win. Yes. Who was that again? That yes. them and too. look, beating them. That Ohio State. They in got the a end, win. in the end, who they have beaten are still good quality mid majors. No, it is. Southern it Miss. Is. It Western is. Carolina is going to be there at, at the end. Yes. Uh, UL Lafayette. I don't know UL Lafayette. Is maybe. But I mean, Southern Miss, they won the conference last year. They did. I mean, that, Rick, that's they pretty did. good. That's good they company, did. man. So, anyway, you know, the upper tier of the Southland, and I'm talking about the Southeastern is still going to be there. 
Nichols, yeah. Lamar upset this past weekend, yeah. beat Nichols in overtime. So they're going to, Nichols will be UNO and Corpus Christi. They're all going to come in and just I agree, Rick. battle. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's it's it is good, basketball. Man. It's going to be good. I mean, you can have it off night. I, I agree with you. McNeese has shown different ways to win. They have. But look, is that, that, can, we, that, yep. can, can we look at the elephant in the room, the three of us, and say this? This is the first year these guys have played together. You keep Come saying on, that. Yo. You keep we're saying not, that. We're not recognizing that, Rick. You it's keep cool. saying that. I this got is it. the first time these guys have played together. But you know, with the one constant, I mean, I know, Will Wade's the, is, is the overseer. He's Shahada Wells. No doubt. I got to agree with you on that. I got to agree with you on he that. He is Rick. just a magnificent young man. I got to agree with you. When Scooter told me he made the top 10, Come on, dude. Yeah. No, you're talking about Christian Shoemaker. Christian Shoemaker. Christian Shoemaker yeah. is all those Made fancy dunks. Shoemaker. And Made the top Shoemaker's 10. a great player. <laughs> but okay. that's, but that's, part of the, that's part of the but equation. But, boy, Shahada Wells, when you need a drive bucket and a, and a, and a plus one. I agree one, with you. I agree with that's you. That's the man. All right, let's stay with you. They're Jeremy. already throwing snowballs in they Buffalo. They got more snowballs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we need the bell to get him back on track. And, yeah. Magnese Cowgirl softball. Not too easy to start talking Coach about Coach They opened up practice this past week. Gentlemen, I don't know how you do this, but their schedule, they open up with 13 straight That's home crazy. games. That's crazy. Well, it's 13 two things straight home there. games. Two things that work there. They've gotten better. Yes, they got reputation. They have, they, they've got some rev. Plus, when you start baseball and softball season, it's like playing in Buffalo. That's right. The Southern <laughs> yeah. teams. You can, you're right. you know, a, a so called baseball, softball, right. mid major, if such thing exists. I agree. You can bring some Big Ten. And, 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 they, and, and, and their schedule includes three tournaments, three of these little yeah. mini tournaments. Yeah. yeah. And they're bringing in three time that's reigning national champion Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. Now that's, these now girls are special. That's Let me impressive. Tell you that you know is, that's going to be cool in mid February, by and, the way. And Coach Langino said, he's been on the show a number of times, he said, we want those games. And he's we got want them. those type games. And I, you right. got you to take your head off to it. Let's him, move to, do to that. the subject that I wanted to talk about Here we go. Like for the last three years. The NFL has uh -oh. continually devalued the running back through it's been years, not, Rick. not it's drafting been years. them very high outside of Atlanta. It's been John Robinson. Remember him? It's it's about been years, Rick. They, they fight tooth and nail on contracts. Saquon Barkley, Jonathan Taylor. Yeah. You know the story. Yeah. They have devalued the running back. But every coach will tell you, I want balance. I, we need to run the ball. You have to have that. You've got to have a – and you can't do it always with a, a fourth, fifth, or seventh round draft bar. You can't. You need uh, an elite well, running back. I, I disagree there. with you, at least for what the NFL's thinking is. I don't think they have devalued They it have. As but much explain. as they have decided it's interchangeable. But well, it's not. But let it me really say this. If you have an offensive it. line, you can run the ball, I, oh, and it okay. doesn't matter who yeah. you put back there. But – do you or think, I say doesn't matter, but there are enough good ones to go let around. Let me answer Boy. this question, Scooter, and I'm going to tell you. The, the difference maker, other oh, than obviously quarterback, you can't win without yeah. a quarterback. Yeah. But other than that, the difference makers now are the wide receivers. Let me, let I me know, say this. A lot of I'm going to help Scooter a little bit, but look what's going on in the Green Bay does not beat Dallas without, without that running Aaron game. Jones. I'm sorry. Yeah. Without Aaron Jones, Green Bay does not right. beat and Dallas. The Colts. Was Aaron Jones the reason, or was the offensive line? Well, it's the line ultimate the team game. I mean, Scooter, Scooter, you know, I, that's, I get that's, that, that's, but I think you concentrate. If you have a good offensive line, the running backs enter. Oh, I disagree. Uh, look, seventh round draft know. pick of the Kansas City Chiefs. Aaron, he was 251st. Isaiah Pacheco. He runs like yeah, a maniac. He does. He's an exception. Pacheco, he does. Right? He's an exception. He does. What he the does. 49ers can do? Without Christian McCaffrey, no, you. They will yeah, not be with he's Debo. Different. Debo, I mean, he's, he's not a running back, but well, I got but, you. But he's, Alvin yeah, Kamara, but he's, yeah. Saquon Barkley, Kamara, all same these. way. He catches the ball. A oh lot. my God! When you put the ball in his hands on a running play, when he makes think, that special move, yeah, he gets you five or eight extra yards. yards. But 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 he and McCaffrey both they catch a lot of passes. They do, I'm talking about strictly running. They're different running. weapons. But, okay, but Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. Yeah, he runs the ball. Now, See, let me every say, time I say somebody, you wait, come up with wait 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 wait, 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 look, look, <laughs> look. I never. For all look. I've said, I will say, I think. Things like this are cynical. I don't think it is. Anyway, well, I don't. 
it'll, it'll come back. Do you think Drew Brees has a great a year <coughs> in New Orleans without having a running back? Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara. They got I him wanted him to say round. the name, yeah, though. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's it, Scooter. That's what helps <laughs> Drew Brees. I mean, you had Alvin Kamara. That's what helps. The, the, sh the shelf life of running backs in the NFL is shorter. The Barry Sanders for 12 years may you not happen ever that. again. You can't Adrian beat that. Peterson, uh, uh, you know, Eric Dickerson and all those guys, maybe they won't go that, now, that long. Now, look. But, boys, you get a good one the for point, six, seven, eight years. They should not the be The point that I can make that Scooter may be trying to make, and this is easy to say, guys, Dallas yeah, Cowboys. I don't need you to wait, talk wait, for wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. Dallas Cowboys, when you had Tony Dorsett and Emmitt Smith, they had the biggest offensive line in the league. Yes. That's what answers your question, special Scooter. Special talent okay. at running back. Okay. You have to That's have That's what answers your question, talent. Scooter. Look what happened over the weekend in the wild card round. Look what happened. The KC Chiefs. Leaned on Pacheco. And they had Edwards to have Pacheco. Hilaire. He was the reason. Aaron Jones was a factor. He was the reason why. The running backs in postseason play are a factor. And I'll throw this out at you. Seven of the top NFL rushers, seven of the top ten, yes. all made the playoffs. What does okay, that tell Rick, you? I, Rick, I've got to give it to you, he man. He valued, and it shouldn't be that I totally way. agree with Hail you. Hail the Rick. running backs. Hey, all the way. <laughs> Hail the running backs. That's We're it. out of time. Yes, we, Hobbs and Sarah. Always. we appreciate you joining us right here. Have Don't a forget, week, check us out on YouTube. CBSLakeCharles.tv. See you next time, everybody. If it's a story worth telling, it starts with getaways specializing in me time. Handcrafted flavors eager to please. Escapes to soak the day away. And rounds on a course designed by Tom Fazio. Start a story all your own at La Berge Lake Charles. Miller Lite has more taste and only one more calorie than Michelob Ultra. 